Chapter 20 I watched the three judges, Larry, Mary, and Jake, pull their chairs close to their table. They smoothed down their hair and adjusted their outfits and cleared their throats, getting ready to go on camera. I told myself not to get nervous. A casserole dish was solid and simple, but did you ever tell yourself not to get nervous? Then you know it doesn't work at all. In fact, it makes you even more stressed out. Hess announced that Sunday and Jackson were to be judged first. Morgan took a tall metal pot off the counter and carried it to the judge's table. Courtney set down spoons and soup bowls, then she ladled the semen liquid from the pot into the three bowls. Sunday and Jackson, please tell the judges what you have made, Hess said. They gazed at each other. They couldn't decide which of them should talk. Then they both started talking at once. That made them both laugh. Sunday, why don't you explain the dish? Hess suggested. She swallowed. Well, we made a soup. It's a tomato pasta soup with meat. Kind of a chili, Jackson added. It's chili and soup. We invented it. That made Nathan laugh out loud. He's so totally rude. Did they invent chili or soup? He whispered to Ashley, and she laughed too. I realized I was gripping the counter edge tightly with both hands. I lowered my hands and backed away. The judges took their time tasting the chili soup. Larry had a smile on his face as he tried three or four, or four spoonfuls. Mary had her face crunched up and seemed to be thinking hard. Jake tasted the dish, then poked a spoon around the food in the bowl, examining it. He stepped in front of the camera. Okay, judges, what do you think? He said. Larry, I start with you. Larry set down the spoon. Well, I like the idea of the soup, he said, and I think it tastes pretty good. But to me, the tomato overwhelms everything else. I can't taste the peppers or the cheese. I think you should call this tomato soup. You haven't succeeded with the chili idea. I agree with Larry, Mary said, and I'm finding the soup rather thin. I think you need to spice it up. The green peppers aren't enough to give it flavor. I loved it, Jake chimed in. Of course, I love tomato soup. It's my favorite. And I think the beef and the pasta and the peppers are just an added treat. He turned to the other judges. I would like it a little hotter, he said. I like a soup that burns your tongue, don't you? The other two judges shook their heads no. Hess stepped up again. <laughs> thank you, judges, and thank you, Chef Sunday and Chef Jackson. Next up, a sample of the dish by Ashley and Nathan. What dish have you prepared? It's an eggless frittata, Nathan said. It's an Italian dish, a little like an omelet. Only an omelet is cooked fast, Ashley added. A frittata is cooked slower, and a frittata doesn't have to be served right away. It can be saved for later. A frittata is different from a quiche, Nathan added. A quiche has a crust, while a frittata is crustless. Nathan and I have been working for a long time on an eggless frittata, Asher added, and I think we've perfected it. They both grinned, very pleased with their little lecture. Well, I see you two have done your homework, Hess said. Now we see if your frittata is as good as your knowledge of Italian cooking. Each judge placed a slice of the frittata on their plate and began to sample it. Mmm, Jake hummed, chewing a mouthful. He kept nodding his head. I guess he liked it. Nice texture, Mary muttered to the other two. They all chew some more. Jake lowered his head and sniffed for a while. Well, judges, Hess said, what's your verdict? Two thumbs up, Larry said. I can't find anything to criticize. I would like this if it was served to me in a restaurant. Wow, that's high praise, Hess said. Nathan and Ashley swept a high five. I'm especially impressed with the texture, Mary said. It's light and moist and the taste of the ingredients seems to in perfect balance. I don't miss the eggs at all. I think it's a little too crumbly, Jake said, poking the tie on his plate with his fork. But you have so little time to make it. I'm very impressed with it. He also flashed two thumbs up. The cold bumped my arm. They're going to win, she whispered. No way, I whispered back. I think we've got this one. That was a lie. But I didn't want Nicole to give up before we were even judged. Mainly because if Nicole gave up, I'd give up too. I suddenly realized Hess was tur had turned to us. What have you made for us, Chef Nicole and Sasha? He asked. Nicole bumped me again. I guess you want me to do the talking. It's a pasta casserole, I said. Very simple. I guess you call it a comfort food. Perfect for a cold winter day. And it's a meal all in one, Nicole added. The judges all dipped into the casserole dish and placed a portion of the onto their plates. Jake lowered his head and sniffed it. Mmm, interesting, he said. I realized I was holding my breath. Every muscle in my body had tightened and my teeth were clamped tightly together. Yeah, I guess you could say I was nervous. 
Beside me, Nicole gripped the counter and then blank or move or say a word. We both watched the judges raise their forks to their mouths and start to sample the casserole. They're going to love it, I told myself. They're going to love it. Mary was the first to react. Her eyes went wide and she opened her mouth and uttered, Oh! Oh! Jake coughed and started to sputter. And Larry moved a big chunk in his mouth and spit it out with a loud splat on the table.